Microsoft. Okay, guys. Had a podcast a while back on MSFT, Microsoft Corporation. I think I still had it into a stage two. Where is this one? NASDAQ, technology, software industry. And look at this beast, man. Whoa, stage two to infinity and beyond. That's a stage two, guys, on the monthly candle chart. Huge, huge move. This insane move right there, right there. Nice continuation breakouts. And this one, you were rolled this for since October 2016, July 2016, do, 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 all the way to December 2018. For two years, you could have written this from 55, doubling, close to 100. Oh my God, stage analysis. In effect, guys. Very, very powerful trend. Probably a whole bunch of other trend following systems. Stan Weintine's adaptation of it is pretty sweet. Uh, he did it on the weekly. That's what we're going to do. We're going to zoom in. I start off by doing the higher time frame. Make sure that whatever move I see on the weekly, that it's aligned with the monthly, the higher trend, guys. You don't want to go against it. Uh, I know there's hard pullbacks on the weekly that bring up the price action uh, on the daily even more. I just respect the rules. If uh, if I'm below the 12-month moving average, I'm not going to play long. If I'm above it, I'm not going to short. Even if it's below it, doesn't mean I'm going to short. I have to wait for a total weight of evidence. Here, it would have been probably great to play, play long. If I zoom on the weekly, probably had a great entry here with high volume candle above a horizontal breakout line. Uh, the 12 month average is angling upwards. You have the momentum behind you. Uh, you have that push. Any off news or bad news gets absorbed better than if you'd be playing in a downtrend where good news since, since seems to be muted and uh, fear and panic most often prevail. All right, all right, all right. So right now we had some price action gap below the 12 month average. Had some price action below the 12 month average, barely closed below in December. And right now, is it still? Yeah, we're still inclining 12 month average. This is the line in the sand, guys. Another gap down here after this candle. So that's starting to define support, monthly defined support. Here's my breakout line. If I'm, if there's no monthly candle close above uh, 11, 50, uh, 114, 60, 70, and no monthly candle close below 97, 98, then this is considered for me right now, I'm in stage three territory. Still stage two, but you're giving signs right here that uh, this is slowing down. This is not a type of action you want. You want the price action to go up. And when we zoom in on the weekly, we're probably going to see that we've, we're having some price action. We had some price action below 30 week average. And uh, that's giving us signs that we are slowing down, especially as volatility. These longer moves 10% in the month down. See these big ranges, 6%, 7% down in the month. Not quite you want to see these big volatile moves. All right, Stan Weinstein setup, guys. Look at that green. Whoa. Stage analysis. Look at that. Whoa. Outperforming the SPX for all that period. Never challenging the three-week average for all that period. So if you're familiar with Stan Weinstein's book or look at my earlier podcasts or go on stagejohnson.net for the details on how to enter. And right here, he we had the the entry right right here this one based arrow usually i could just look at the volume you look up when you have a volume candle that's twice average of the previous uh, four or five weeks usually you have a candle breaking above a horizontal breakout line 
And after that, that gives you the juice for the continuation. So you had this nice, nice consolidation pattern, embryonic breakout off that stage three, that's gonna continue into a stage two. Then you got another sideways move here, some difficulty below, above the Chimco cloud, bring back up, and then get that break. And then you're outperforming the SPX, inclining, 30 week average. That's all she wrote. Got that monthly, uh, that monthly candle, that monthly um, breakout. Up, 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 up. Beautiful, beautiful. One stock to own Microsoft for all that period, outperforming the SPX. Look at that. The trend identified by the 30 week average, the trend identified by that inclining Ichimoku cloud defined support. And up she goes. Oh, until it reaches a high here. Oh, warning signs right there. Arrow. First warning signs are right here on these two red candles on these down days. But since you're you still have the momentum of the 12 month average going upwards, you still have the momentum of the 30 week moving upwards. You're just creating small damage, but warning signs. The market digests through that, continues for a final run. Lots of red candles on these down days. Do, 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 do. Not super duper good. That means you need some churn. Then you have a crazy red candle right here. This one here, hitting that monthly defined support, which is coinciding also with some weekly defined support. Approaching the Chimu Cloud, try to go down. Chimu Cloud, bring the price action back up. And now you're starting to define that top range, guys. This is a stage three, very close above 30 week average, above the Chimu Cloud. Contracting volume on those up days. So, what you want is what's probably going to happen here is maybe another test. I don't know if we're going to lower highs, oh, lower highs, lower highs. I don't know if it's going to go overcome these over highs. If it has enough juice, it's going to go test monthly defined resistance right there and then start going through that cloud and the more it moves sideways the more the more the clouds starting to thin and the less you'll have overhead resistance which you don't have any here and the less you'll have that cloud so the next time it comes down and tests we're going to be closer and closer to out of the cloud for an eventual close below that monthly defined support which also is coinciding, see with this zone here. And that's what I call the wall. Previous, stretch that out. Previous resistance turn support out of that breakout pattern. That's a congestion area. So support starting here and it's ending with natural support right here. Hit that. If you close below that weekly defined support, weekly defined, uh, monthly defined support, then hit that weekly defined support natural support then bounce up and down and then the classic theory average going downwards making higher lows higher lows higher lows here would be a great risk to reward entry right here so we'll see how this sets up here either on the breakdown if you catch it early out of the cloud half a position let it bounce off that support and if it comes back here close to the room average get the another position and now you're really out of the cloud and after that it's Timber. All right, guys. Microsoft stage three. You've ident I've identified the levels you need to look at, and uh, when you get close below that, the total weight of evidence is still in your favor. You might get a stage four decline to play. All right. Thanks for watching. Ciao, guys.